Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Marianne Elliott's long-anticipated new production of Stephen Sondheim and George First classic company has finally made it to Broadway. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the stellar cast led by Katrina Lank and Patti Lapone. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, you know, the pandemic uh, closing, then the pandemic, and then coming back, and then Steve's death, and then opening night. It's been very hard, very hard, but we have a great company. We have Marianne as our leader, and um, it's gonna settle down eventually, but it's been an, one of the most extraordinary experiences I've ever gone through in the theater. Working with this company of actors, you become so close. What is it like working with them? They're great. It's like the funniest, happiest group of people I think I've ever worked with. I mean, there's three. Chris Fitzgerald, Greg Hildreth, and Itai Benson. I'm on their side of the dressing room. And the insanity that, that ensues sets a tone for the rest of us to have fun. Audiences have been incredible for this show, and new young kids have been coming to experience Stephen Sondheim, what that means to them. It means a lot, because I think that if theater was affordable, it would be more vital. It needs to be more vital. Um, it needs to have a, it needs to develop an audience, so. My final question is, do you remember what you were thinking when you took your bow tonight on stage? I wanted to cry. I was just so happy it happened. I'm just so happy nobody got sick, because it's going around. So good to have you back, my love, as always. Living in the world of Stephen Sondheim, what that has meant to him, just to sing his beautiful music and his words. It's such a delicious feast. It's so, the, I mean, his lyrics are so smart and they're always taking you somewhere and you just, you, you follow wherever they're going and, you know, the music is so incredible and deceptively sound it sounds like it's simple but it's not and so there's you're never bored <laughs> you are never bored there's always like just things to chew on you had him for the first preview again when you opened again that must have been one of the most magical nights for you it really was it, it, again the word special it really was a, a special night and he had said to us um, that night he was like cherish this because this this is a once in a lifetime moment in theater and remember this when <laughs> when things are hard that these kinds of things do happen and it was really um, kind of prophetic for him to say that. Marianne Elliott's staging of it is utterly genius and uh, to be up there on Bunny Christie's design and just watch it all, all the elements come together in that number is so, so thrilling and I I just get to go along for the ride. It's a relief in the best way. We can finally celebrate. We were just holding our breath for so long. We were eight previews in last time, and we were eight previews to go before we opened it. Now, when we hit that, what was it? When we hit the ninth preview or something, we got past that threshold this time, and we're like, ah! And, that, and now we open today, and so it's another threshold. We're like, ah! It's great.